Hadi Mubiru has been growing coffee for more than 30 years. He has a fairly large coffee farm spanning about 10 acres. Coffee runs in the family and has passed down for generations. Ta -ta. My father was a coffee farmer. He paid our school fees from coffee proceeds. Our livelihood depended on coffee. As soon as I left home, I bought land and started planting coffee. I've also taken my kids to school using coffee. I'm now retired and coffee takes care of me. About 1.7 million households in Uganda depend on coffee for their livelihood, according to the Coffee Development Authority. The harvest season is just setting in and Pade expects to gather more than 2,000 kilograms of coffee beans. He says the four months he spent tending to his garden during the COVID-19 lockdown have paid off with better yields. Paddy is among the army of farmers that have made Uganda Africa's largest coffee exporting country. In the financial year ending June 2020, Uganda's coffee exports set an all-time new record of 5.1 million bags worth 494 million US dollars, compared to 3.9 million bags worth 415 million US dollars the previous year. The increase in production and export volumes is attributed to the replanting program that has been ongoing for the last 10 years. At the moment, uh, government has a very demand to uh, produce and multiply seedlings, coffee seedlings, so that we can uh, promote production. And we are on the ground running up and down and mobilizing farmers. And the good news is that uh, everybody's embraced the coffee. More than 900 million seedlings have been distributed so far to replace the trees lost to the coffee wilt disease. The national plan is to increase production to 20 million bags by the year 2025. And the Coffee Development Authority says this will require the rehabilitation of old trees and research into disease-resistant varieties. What we see is that uh, more and more middle-income earners in big offices and those with large chunks of land also coming in in coffee. So we think we are going to hit the target. And the plan from the government is that we should be planting uh, 300 million seedlings every year. The COVID-19 pandemic has not had as much effect on coffee production compared to food crops like Matoke. And some farmers like Paddy say the lockdown has been to an extent a blessing in disguise. The pandemic restrictions on movement have forced us to stay in our gardens and give our coffee trees extra care. The more time you give to coffee, the better returns. Our only challenge was access to pesticides for bacteria and the coffee wilt, which is still killing some of our trees. Uganda grows Arabica and Robusta coffee varieties. And the government is looking at the beverage as one of the commodities critical to the economic transformation and recovery of the country in the wake of the pandemic. And the hope for farmers like Paddy is that the increase in coffee earnings is also reflected in their pockets.